we are built to be happy, strong and healthy. We got all the tools, but they are not awakened. But who is going to wake them up? That's us. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel Skylife where I explore the world of wellness and try all sorts of health and lifestyle trends and challenges. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down the science and research behind the Wim Hof Method. If you've seen my last video, you know that I spent four days training with the legend himself, Iceman Hoff, in Poland at the beginning of January. I went with my favorite YouTube channel, Yes Theory, to help produce their first ever documentary, Frozen Alive, about our experience training with the Iceman Wim Hof. Shut the fuck up! Let's climb this mountain! Ah! If you haven't seen it yet, definitely check it out along with my video about the story behind how this whole thing came together and my personal experience throughout our journey. If you've seen my other video, you would have learned that I definitely had a lot of fear and self-doubt leading up to the trip, but the only thing I really could do was get prepared. So in order to prepare, I actually read every scientific paper that exists on Wim Hof. However, if you've seen the Yes Theory video or my video, you would know that none of us could have prepared for what we actually did in Poland. This is fucking insane. What do we do? For anyone who is skeptical of Wim Hof being some fake charlatan guru, I definitely appreciate your skepticism and I think it's really healthy to be questioning everything, especially now in this age of information that we live in and the era of fake news. I'm also quite skeptical of a lot, which is really why I started this channel so that I could explore all of these health and wellness trends and topics that I'm interested in, but really want to get to the bottom of in terms of the science and research behind them and if they're actually legitimate. I want to bring that into this video and kind of dispel any myths that exist around Wim Hof and his method. Before going to train with Wim, I also read a book called What Doesn't Kill Us that was written by an investigative journalist named Scott Carney, who actually set out to prove that Wim Hof is some charlatan fake guru and ended up finding along the way that the method really worked for him and now he's a regular practitioner of the method itself. So I read that book and was trying to get various opinions about really who this guy is, Wim Hof, and what he's all about. Based on the research that I have done, he is really one of the only gurus out there who has a lot of scientific research behind what he's doing. And I know that that is something that is personally really important to Wim. And all of it has been done by independent researchers so far. After having spent some time with Wim, what I know is that he really cares about his message getting out there, but he also wants to make sure that the science is entirely legitimate and he's open to any scientist who wants to study him. So what this video will hopefully accomplish is a comprehensive explanation of the science and research behind the Wim Hof method for anybody who is dying to know more about this. First, I'll explain what the Wim Hof method is and how it works. Then I'll take you through a timeline of the research that has been done on Wim so far and what we understand currently. And finally, I will discuss what we still need to learn and any emerging research being done. So what exactly is the Wim Hof method? And if you already understand what the Wim Hof method is and you've watched the other videos and you wanna get straight into the actual research behind it, then just skip ahead. The Wim Hof method consists of three parts meditation and concentration techniques, breathing exercises, and gradual cold exposure. Wim's meditation techniques are a bit different from traditional meditation in that they aim to prepare the mind and body to stay calm and focused during stressful situations. His meditation technique is based on the ancient Tibetan Tumo meditation, which acts to build heat in the body. He also teaches a moving meditation technique in the horse stance, where you're basically in a wide-legged half sumo squat, moving your hands back and forth following your breath. When we were in Poland, we actually did this for 15 minutes straight. Okay, now let's talk about the famous Wim Hof breathing technique. Breathing is a physiological process unconsciously regulated by the autonomic nervous system, which is the part of the nervous system responsible for control of bodily functions that we don't consciously think about, like breathing and our heartbeat and the digestive process. Make it stronger, just. 
The amount of oxygen we inhale influences the amount of energy that is released into our cellular body. By actively training the breath, we can increasingly gain control over a range of physiological processes in the body. Basically, the Wim Hof Method breathing technique is designed to saturate the body with oxygen and increase the ratio of oxygen to carbon dioxide in the blood. By increasing the amount of oxygen in the body, we're actually increasing the amount of ATP in the cells. What is ATP, you might ask? ATP stands for adenosine triphosphate and is created in the mitochondria of the cell and is responsible for transporting and storing energy. By increasing the amount of oxygen in the body, ATP is generated more rapidly and efficiently, thereby supplying the cells with an increase in energy and efficiency in the transfer of that energy to the rest of the body and the brain. If you've seen the Yes Theory documentary, I'm sure some of you are probably curious to know what was happening during our breathwork session where I was getting uncontrollable laughter and Matt had a very different experience. Because of the high level of oxygen in the body and brain during this breath work, this can elicit a variety of physical and emotional responses. I always get uncontrollable laughter when I do breath work, and it feels just kind of like a release of energy that's been built up. <laughs> now, Matt doesn't actually remember any of what happened, but he said that he felt really great afterwards. Having studied various forms of breath work, it's common to have various emotional responses. However, we're not totally sure scientifically what is happening there yet. Now, the cold therapy portion of this method is Wim's real claim to fame. But even before Wim subjected himself to scientific scrutiny, research supported the benefits of cold exposure. And because cold exposure has been shown to boost the immune system and decrease inflammation, that's why you see it being used by so many pro athletes as a method for recovery. So now that we know what the Wim Hof method is, let's actually break down the research that has been conducted on Wim and his method so far. We're about to go deep. This section is for my true science geeks out there. 2007 was the first time that Wim ever subjected himself to scientific scrutiny during one of his attempts for the longest ice bath. This was not officially published. However, the data that was collected here showed that Wim may have some influence over his autonomic nervous system, which in the scientific community was previously thought to be impossible. And this initial data is really what paved the way for more research to come. Then in 2010, a case report was published where again, Wim was measured in an 80 minute ice bath. And there's an actual Ted talk about this from a scientist named Maria Hopman from Radboud University Medical Center. One other remarkable finding that I would like to share with you is that he increases his metabolism. He can heat up his, uh, his body by doubling his metabolism metabolism. During the whole procedure, while he was in the ice for 80 minutes, his energy expenditure was twice as high, and with that he produces extra heat, which, however, cannot explain the fact that his core body temperature does not decrease more. Then in 2012, finally, the first peer-reviewed scientific paper on Wim Hof was published in the journal Psychosomatic Medicine. The study was conducted at Radboud University Medical Center in the Netherlands, and this was the groundbreaking endotoxemia study. On my way to Poland, I I actually stopped in the Netherlands to talk to one of the main researchers who worked on this study. We were interested in studying uh, Wim Hof because he claimed to be able to voluntarily modulate two systems that are normally you are not able to voluntarily modulate. And one is the immune system and the second is the autonomic nervous system. Here is what happens. While practicing his meditation technique, Wim was injected with a dead form of the E. coli bacteria called LPS, which is used in laboratory settings and normally elicits flu-like symptoms for up to three hours after injection. But instead, Wim showed barely any symptoms at all. What was shown was a significant decrease in inflammatory cytokines in his blood, but a significant increase in anti-inflammatory proteins. So here we saw that Wim was able to control 
his autonomic nervous system and therefore his innate immune response. Up till now, all the textbook, the medical textbooks, they say you cannot, it's not possible to uh, modulate your autonomic nervous system or your immune response at will. Our research challenges this uh, this paradigm and that's that's something that uh, I think is really exciting. Wim claims that he can actually teach people to do what he does and he wanted to take it to the next level by actually getting a group of his students to also be injected with this E. coli bacteria. So they took a control group of 12 healthy random individuals who were not trained in the Wim Hof method and then a group of 12 random healthy individuals who were trained in the Wim Hof method by Wim himself and they were all injected with the LPS bacteria and then they observed the differences. What was shown was that the group of participants that were trained in the Wim Hof method were actually able to do what Wim was able to do as well and control their immune system. So this study was groundbreaking because for the first time in scientific literature it was published that humans do in fact have control over our autonomic nervous system and our immune response, something that was thought to be impossible beforehand. So now we're going to talk about the most recent study that was published in 2018 in the journal Neuroimage, where researchers at Wayne State University actually observed what is happening in the brain during the Wim Hof method. Now this study is the basis for how Wim decided to train our group in Poland. Lucky us. <laughs> The results of this study showed that higher order cortical areas of the brain, including the left anterior and right insula, which are associated with self-reflection and sustained attention during the presence of adverse external stimuli, in this case the cold, were activated. One big question about Wim Hof was actually somewhat answered in this study. Brown adipose tissue, or BAT, otherwise known as brown fat, is the type of fat responsible for heat production in the body. Babies have a high amount of brown fat, but this slowly decreases as we age. Wim had shown to have higher levels of brown fat than average people his age. He actually was shown to have about the same amount of brown fat as that of a 20 year old. So there's this big question of whether or not the brown fat in Wim's body was responsible for why he's so able to withstand the cold. And then the other question was, well, is this genetic that he has more brown fat or is it because he frequently exposes himself to the cold thereby by increasing the levels of brown fat in the body. The answer to that last part of the question, I think we're still unsure of, but what we did see in this study is that the activation of brown fat was actually negligible in comparison to what was happening in the brain, which is why when we trained with women in Poland, he kept referring to the power of the mind and the recent study that showed that it's all in the mind and that this is now where the research is headed to really fine tune this and see further what this actually means. And because this study showed that the parts of the brain that were being activated are the ones associated with mood and mental well-being, this is actually paving the way for research to look at how this method could potentially treat mental health and mood disorders. Now, this would support the multitude of anecdotal evidence that has emerged from people around the world who say that this method has really helped them with their mood. For me, this is definitely the case. As challenging as it is for me to actually get into the cold, every time I do it, I feel so euphoric after, especially when it's combined with the meditation and the breathing technique. Now, what you saw in my last video, that emotional release that I had, that was just a catharsis of emotion that was really healthy and that wasn't a negative. I think that this type of work is very deep and can often just crack us open and everything that we've been needing to let out comes out. So there is still a lot that we need to learn when it comes to the Wim Hof method. However, we are off to a really great start with the research that we do have now. There are several studies currently being worked on that have the potential to really shake up our current understanding of the mind-body connection in our relationship to treating mental health and mood disorders. There are now millions of people around the world practicing the Wim Hof Method, and I have personally met several of them who say it has absolutely changed their lives. One major question that researchers still have is trying to understand which part of the method is actually doing what. The breathing, the meditation, and the cold therapy all seem to be doing 
different things. We are really interested in finding out which of these uh, elements is the most important in the effects that we observed in our studies. During my time in Poland, Wim was so adamant about us unlocking the true power of our minds. We heard this all week long. You are the owner of your own brain. Got that? Your own mind. Your own happiness, strength and health is yours. I found a lot of the challenges to be really difficult without doing any of the techniques beforehand, but his point was to really show us that even without his method, we are capable of so much more than we think, just through activating the power of our mind. I know that was a ton of information, and if you are still watching, then you must be a true science nerd, so thank you for indulging me in this in-depth explanation of the Wim Hof method. I hope you found it informative. Please comment below if you enjoyed this video and learned something. And remember to subscribe and hit the bell button so you will be notified whenever I post a new video, which is every Thursday. Thank you so much for watching and remember, you have the power to thrive, you have the power to live your best life ever. I will see you next week, bye!